हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम अगेन टू ओपन सोर्स स्टडी आई होप यू लाइक द लास्ट वीडियो एंड इफ यू हैवेंट वॉच द लास्ट वीडियो देन आई रिक्वेस्ट यू प्लीज गो एंड वॉच इट फर्स्ट सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल बी टेलिंग यू अ लॉट मोर अबाउट आर्डो पायलट एंड पिक्सो इन डिटेल एंड बेसिकली वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस थ्री मेन थिंग्स अबाउट दम द फर्स्ट इज वट आर आर्डो पायलट एंड पिक्सो एंड how are they started the second is how big are they today the third is what can we do with them i mean what are their capabilities and all so let's get started actually it's very confusing if you would have searched on google about them before then you can understand why i am saying that it is very confusing and if you haven't searched yet then no worries why am i here let me tell you the reason the main confusion is they both have their hardware and firmware but what people mostly prefer to use is pixo hardware with ardu pilot autopilot software if you remember i mentioned the same in the last video so the question is why don't we use ardu pilot firmware with ardu pilot hardware and pixo firmware with pixo hardware to answer this question we have to know some history of pixo and ardu pilot like what they are how they started and few more things so let's do one thing let's first discuss the history of ardu pilot in brief it all started by a guy named chris anderson in 2007 he founded diy drones while building his lego uav just to show his kid and what basically diy drones was it was a kind of community of the people who were interested in drones and the cool thing is it still works today you can check out the website if you want i will give the link in description the second chapter starts with a guy named jordy in 2008 he built an autonomous helicopter and won spark fun av competition in 2009 chris and jordy found 3d robotics and the first board was released Later in 2009 first Arduino pilot code repository was created by Zordi and in 2010 APM1 which is Arduino pilot mega version 1 was released by 3D Robotics and so many other things happened in 2010 like APM1 flies first autonomous plane flight and mission planner was also released in 2010 by Mitchell under the Arduino pilot name They also started working on quadcopter in 2010 and successfully flown first autonomous copter in 2011. So basically this is the history of Arduino pilot like how it was started and I think we should not waste much time on history and this much is enough to know but if you want to know more then I will leave one link in the description you can go and check it out. Okay that's the history of Arduino pilot and now just hold on to that for a second and see a little about pixo history it all started by a guy named lorenz in 2008 he started his research on autonomous drone using computer vision alongside his masters degree at eth zurich and he wanted to make the drone and flight controller software and hardware himself so you know it was a big task so he recruited a team of 14 fellow students many more experience than him to make it happen in 2009 the team won the european micro air vehicle competition and guess what the team's name was pixo and because they wanted to develop autonomy and computer vision for everybody so they released their software as open source and one more thing mavlink protocol was also developed by lorenz which is used for communication between uav and gcs and it was soon picked by the open source community and used in other autopilot projects such as ardu pilot yes ardu pilot also used mavlink protocol for communication between uav and gcs q ground control was also developed by him for a linux system which is the ground control station and now available for windows 2 in 2011 struggling with the architecture that wasn't right and wouldn't scale lorenz and his team came up with a new solution they scrapped the software and hardware 
built in the previous three years and made a complete rebuild from scratch, which solved all issues. The fourth rewrite of the PX flight controller software finally delivered the quality Lawrence wanted and PX4 was born. Okay, this is the history of Pixaw and as you know the history of both Arduino Pilot and Pixaw. So here is the quick question. Why there is no Arduino Pilot hardware available now? So let's answer this question. Up until 2012, Arduino Pilot had its own software and hardware coupled together under the same name. But in 2013, there was no Arduino Pilot hardware. What happened? Well, till 2013, Arduino Pilot hardware was manufactured by 3DR company, that is 3D Robotics, and their partnership kind of ended in 2013. And 3DR partnered with Pixaw. Well, I know what you are thinking. Why 3DR ended their partnership with Arduino Pilot and started their new partnership with Pixaw? Well, I don't know the exact reason why 3DR ended its partnership with Arduino Pilot and shaken hand with Pixaw. But I can guess, as Arduino Pilot software and hardware released earlier than Pixaw, so people started using them and might have got used to them, right? And on the other hand, Pixaw was struggling with their hardware and software issue till 2011. But as people started using and contributing to the Arduino Pilot software, so software eventually got bigger and bigger and hardware requirements got higher and higher. So Arduino Pilot hardware or you can say APM might not be capable enough of developing open source software and they may have found Pixaw a perfect fit for their Arduino Pilot software. And you can see how the Arduino Pilot hardware changed as time progressed. The last Arduino Pilot hardware developed was the APM 2.5 or I guess 2.6. Since then they have focused on the software side and a lot of people still call APM as Arduino Pilot software. So don't get confused. APM is nothing. As I told you it stands for Arduino Pilot Mega. It is the name of Arduino Pilot software and hardware and now there is no hardware so people call APM for Arduino Pilot software. So that's it for Arduino Pilot and Pixaw history. Now let's talk about how big they are today and how capable they are. We already know the story of Arduino Pilot till 2011. Yes? No, no, no. Don't say no. I just told you at the beginning of this video, right? Since 2011, a lot of people have contributed to Arduino Pilot software and they have released many versions and added many new interesting features in every single update. Today, the Arduino Pilot software code base is of nearly 7 lakh line of code. Yes, you heard me right, 7 lakh line of code. Now you can understand why I always tell people that don't start everything from scratch. Just first look for the open source project use what is already out there for free and available for you otherwise just think about it if somebody start making its own autopilot code base then he has to write lakhs of lines of code and it takes i guess years to do that right on the other hand px4 open source community has also grown too big to over 9600 users and more than 600 contributors who together added over 1.5 million lines of code till 2019. Yes, 1.5 million lines of code. Since 2011, the team has created a full drone technology stack that includes computer vision, flight control software, autopilot hardware, communication protocol and ground control station software. Everything is needed to build and operate a drone. They both support many different vehicle types like multi-rotor, helicopter, fixed wing, VTOL and many more other vehicles. Okay, in short, both of them are very big today and have many interesting features. You can program your drone for many cool autonomous mode like automatic takeoff and landing, returning to the home position, pre-programmed missions, follow a person or follow me, accept command from a off-board computer or ground control station and a lot more cool and mind-blowing things. You can even program for fail-safe 
it means programming to protect and recover your drone if something goes wrong like low battery remote control loss position loss or data link loss or geofence breach or you can program for mission fail safe like prevent a previous mission from being run at new takeoff location and you can also program for traffic avoidance or object avoidance yes you can also program your drone for the detect and avoid feature with these autopilot softwares i know what you all are thinking like which one is best right and the answer is both are best it's very hard to compare them because they both are very big autopilot software with a lot of interesting features and a lot of people are contributing to them so that we can use and make out of them what we want and before comparison we must explore both fully right then only we can compare them and as i told you in this series we will be learning and playing with ardu pilot autopilot software and if you want to explore the pixo autopilot software too then just do one thing comment on this video that i want to learn pixo too and if i will get the good amount of request then i will make one more series on pixo autopilot software right and then you can compare them both on your own right yes so that's it for this video i hope you like the video and learn something from this and in the upcoming videos i will be starting the software part we will make the proper setup for drone programming so stay tuned and i just want to thank you all for your support on the last video please keep supporting us like this so that we will be motivated to make new amazing interesting series and again thank you so much for your love and support